What's up you guys, we got one package to go going out today, so let's go downstairs and get it done. So we sold some champion pants here. Uh, we picked these up in like December, late December around there. I never would have picked these up if it weren't for their high retail price. I mean, you can really feel the quality in these pants. They're just like, they're kind of insane. It's pine green, uh, reverse weave, I guess. I don't know what that means, but the price tag on it, no, I don't. Not my color, but somebody else's color who bought it. Really good quality pants, $100 retail. Bought these for $21.60, and you see the little embroidery here, um, pretty cool. And uh, we sold them on eBay for $64. These I'm probably gonna ship in a padded flat rate envelope, which shouldn't cost too much at all to ship. This thing is fat, golly. And yeah, like I said, I uh, picked this up like around December, late December at Ross. Took a gamble on it. I've never sold champion pants before. And yeah, someone paid up for these. We're gonna go ahead and ship them to them. To new, These are going to New York. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, these are definitely gonna weigh more than one pound. So we're gonna ship them in a padded flat rate envelope. So it's gonna cost $7.76 to ship these. And we're making $26.12 profit on them, which is pretty good. I'm a little bit more than 100% ROI. And that's the type of margins that we love. Get this rollo action going. Yes, sir. Gonna squish these in here. Yeah, these things are fat, man. And then we're gonna close it up as neat as we can. No, please. Oh, bro, it always catches this thing. I don't know why. Can never get the fat stuff closed perfectly, but we tried our best. The next day. So the first pair of shoes that we sold yesterday were some Doc Martens here. <clears throat> we paid $40 for these and they sold for 110. I'm kind of upset with myself because I didn't put these under athletic shoes, but uh, whatever, I guess. These sold in one day pretty quickly. And man, fees are $15.29, jeez. So let's get these um, bubble wrap and <clears throat> put into a box. I, I didn't expect them to sell that quickly either. I thought I was gonna accept the best offer, but I didn't. Um, they sold for full asking price. It was pretty quick. Really grateful for that. Yeah, I picked these up uh, last week on Friday or Saturday. Um, and I've really been slacking off with listing. <laughs> I just listed them like two days ago and they sold fairly quickly like I told you guys. And these are gonna be heavy, man. I didn't think it through. I honestly didn't. This is my fault. <laughs> honestly, my fault for not putting them under athletic shoes and incurring that $15 fee, but it's whatever. These weigh four pounds too. I hope they don't go to Cali. And they're going somewhere near Cali, Arizona. We're pretty far from Georgia. It's gonna cost $16.28, which I'm not paying. I'm probably gonna buy it on pirate ship. Get this box in the bag, great. It's gonna cost $9.14 via pirate ship. And we're gonna make a profit of $42.36, which is still really good. We would have made more if we put it on athletic shoes, but uh oh well. And yeah, let's get this rollo action. Sorry for this little mess here, but kind of in a rush at the moment. Uh now we're going to the next pair of shoes or some Nike Alpha Harachi Elite cleats that we picked up at Burlington a long time ago. Uh, we picked these up for 20 bucks, uh, size 11. These are um, lacrosse shoes. I guess I didn't keep the price tag in there. But yeah, these sold for $60. I've had offers come in and out at like 50. Um, I've countered all the time with 55 because I've sold these shoes for $55 before. I would think that's a pretty fair price for some elite cleat or elite lacrosse shoes. These finally sold after, uh, I believe like five months, probably a little longer than that, six months at the most. I ended up picking up like four pair of these at the time when I bought them. So that's pretty good. And I've sold three already. The other ones I sold fairly quickly, which I was surprised about. 
But these are just heading out the door right now. Stuffed them in the padded flat rate envelope. I mean, a uh, shoe box. Put some paper in there. Two pounds. Yes, sir. It almost was about to be three pounds. And we're gonna make $21.98 off of those shoes, which is pretty good, 100% ROI. That's the margin we love. And these are going to New York. Let's get this roll of action. And the next thing are some pieces of clothing, which is going to be pretty easy to package. We sold a Tommy Bahama vest that we picked up at Marshall's. I forgot how much it cost. Let's see if we can find it here. A black vest. Here it is. Phew. Uh, we paid $15 for this at Marshall's. So $16.20. And we sold it for $55, I believe. Or $50. Uh, one of those. And the retail on it is uh, $99.50, which is why I picked it up. And I believe the comps were selling for around 50 to like $60 all the way up there, I believe. If I remember correctly, don't quote me on it. But we had this for like a month or two. We picked this up when Marshalls, even probably three months, when Marshalls was doing their um, their clearance on everything. And people were finding, finding insane items like polo, like insanely priced polo stuff. And... You know, just stuff like that. But we're gonna get this folded all nice and neat for the customer. Pretty, very, very nice vest. Feels pretty good. If I wore vest, I'd probably rock this, but um, I don't wear vests, so. Yeah, fit perfectly in our little poly bag here. And let's see how much it weighs. Look at this, it just sticks to my hand. That's why I don't like those things, but two pounds, so. We're gonna ship it in a padded flat rate. Probably get two of these because the other item might go in a padded flat rate too. Let's print the label out first and see how much we make. We sold it for $50. And we made $18.92 off of this Tommy Bahama jacket, which is great. Thank you, Dana from Oklahoma. Gonna stick this on here and then get it closed up. I love when clothing fits perfectly in any bag. I think this will go in perfectly once I flatten it out. Not quite perfect, but still really, really satisfying to do. And we got our beautiful little padded flat rate envelope here going out. And the last piece of clothing we bought, I mean, what we sold is some Adidas pants. This buyer was really, uh, really sending me low ball offers and I just kept sending back the same 50. And uh, he kept sending me offers and kept like going to the limit. And I just declined it at um, one point. And then um, he, um, sent an offer again and uh, I just kept countering with $50 of what I what I wanted and um, ended up selling these these I actually sold them in December and I got them returned because it didn't fit the customer in this instance I charged the buyer $7.99 to get it shipped to them so I basically wouldn't incur a loss on this sale because I do free shipping um, in this instance, I didn't do it, like I said, because I wanted to maintain the profit that I earned on these and not lose any money on shipping. That's the beauty of selling on eBay. You can charge shipping or you can do free shipping whenever you want. Let me fold this again. This looks horrible. I'm so used to getting the folding kind of perfect because of folding clothes for Amazon. So that's kind of uh, why I want it to look very nice and presentable because that's how I want the customer to receive it. So we're gonna close this up. Just stick the thing out of here, stick it to the side of my desk. And this, the customer paid for shipping, so I'm just gonna throw it in a padded flat rate envelope. So we're only gonna be making $15 off of these pants, which is still pretty good. I paid $27 for them, so 25 plus tax. It's okay, still pretty good ROI. Let's get this roll action going real quick. Just closed up. All nice and neat. There we go. The next day. Sorry for my dog barking in the background, but we sold some B-grade Air Max Pluses. All white. Where are they? 
Let's see, let's see. Sold these on eBay for $110. We picked these up at Ross for $33 plus tax. And yeah, I'm surprised these sold. And they have like something right here, but it's just closed in the description and pictures. I sold these and the buyer sent me an offer for $100, right? I was like, uh, I had them listed for like, I think 120 or 110. 130 i don't know but i counter offered 105 yeah i had them listed for like 120 i counter offered 105 and this dude sent an offer back of 110 bucks i don't know if he was tripping but i took that offer and bro what the heck and i was just like what the, why would he send the offer five dollars more than what he than what i offered but um, I'm like, hmm, probably a scammer, but he's not a scammer. He paid today. Took him, a, uh, I think like a day or two to pay, but he paid and we got the sale, which is still great. Yeah, I picked these up, uh, I think about a month ago at Ross. So. Some air bubbles in there. Shut this guy. This is gonna get shipped to eBay authentication. Two pounds, that's that's great. It's gonna cost $8.59 to ship those out. And we're making a profit of $65.77 because we paid $35.64 for them. So that's that's great. So yeah, let's get this Rolo action going. Yes, sir. In the next sale, we got these Nike Roshi. Or Nike, Nike Infinity, not Nike Roshi. Golf shoes. We picked these up at Marshall's for... Um, where's the price tag? No price tag. But we sold these for $65 on Mercari. We paid $27, that's with tax included. And we picked these up a couple of days ago at Marshall's. And uh, these these were uh, a nine and a half. So I'm surprised these sold. So let's use the 1095 here. Gonna modify it real quick. Um. Perfect fit. Hopefully those size 11s fit in this box because they might be a little too long. But anyways. Hopefully these aren't going too far because these might be a little heavy. Yeah, three pounds. This is going to Connecticut. So it's going to cost $9.64 to ship these. Uh, and we make $19.67 in profit, which is pretty good considering we only bought these a couple days ago. Let's get this beautiful Rolo action going. There we go. The next day. So we ended up selling a pair of Pumas. Um, I've had these for a pretty long time. I think like I bought these in like October. We paid like 30 bucks for these, I believe. They're $26.99 actually. So yeah, it totals up to $29.16 with tax included. So that's pretty good. Uh, we sold these for $85 on eBay. And like I said, I did have these for a pretty long time. But we got rid of them which is you know all that matters yeah i'll take i'll take that any day so we're gonna put these in some bubble wrap yeah i mean i, I don't remember the exact month but it was like and these shoes are fat but it was like uh october november uh one of those times even september maybe i don't I have no idea let me let me let me check yeah it was uh around september i believe yeah should have got three pieces of bubble wrap for this, but oh well. Get our paper, put it in here. I'm gonna weigh this bad boy. Probably three pounds. Yeah, three pounds. Oh, it's not going far at all. It's going to Burlington, North Carolina. Thanks, Antonio, for buying these Puma shoes. Let's get this Rollo action going. Gotta love it. Let's calculate the profit on these shoes. We paid twenty nine sixteen for them. Sold them for 85 on eBay. Shipping was $8.10. Fees from eBay were $11.51. And we walk away with $36.23 in profit. So a little over 100% ROI, which is great. Uh, that's what we want, but you know, we can't always get it. But in this instance, we did. So that's really great. So if you enjoyed that little packing video, you guys, go ahead and like and subscribe. Let me know what you think of the sales down below. And I really appreciate you for watching to the very end. I hope you have a wonderful day or night whenever you're watching this. And I will see you in my next video.